let's look at this problem the lengths of two perpendicular tangents from a point to a parabola are three and four units then find length of its lattice sector so the two perpendicular tangents drawn from a point to a parabola it means the point is lying on directrix because the perpendicular tangents to a parabola means they will intersect on directrix so and those two points will pass through the focus there is a property which we have in parabola so if I draw a tangent and from the same point if we draw another tangent these two tangents are perpendicular and this is the directrix so there is P there is Q S so S is the focus so I want to find length of the lattice sector. So length of lattice sector is 4a clearly. So length of lattice sector is equal to 4a. And I don't know anything right. So what we do is we will consider P as a t1 square comma 2a t1 and we'll we are considering the parabola y square equal to 4x 4ax and q is a t2 square comma 2 a t2 so this is point of intersection of tangents so point of intersection of tangents is a t1 t2 comma a into t1 plus t2 this will obtain by solving the two tangent equations tangent equations are t1 y is equal to x plus a t1 square and t2 y is equal to x plus a t2 square if i solve these two i will get this as point of intersection and they are intersecting on direct x right clearly because if they are perpendicular they will intersect on direct x or let's say if they are perpendicular product of their slopes is minus 1 so here the slope is 1 by t1 here the slope is 1 by t2 so 1 by t1 into 1 by t2 is equal to minus 1 so m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 implies 1 by t1 into 1 by t2 equal to minus 1 so t1 t2 is equal to minus 1 so if i substitute here we will get that they are intersecting on directrix so now I will convert everything to one coordinate. I mean, instead of t2, I will write t1 only. So, we will write everything in terms of t. So, p is a t square comma 2 a t. q is a by t square comma minus 2 a by t. And the point where they are intersecting is, let's say I will consider it as r. So, that is minus a comma a into t minus 1 by t. So we get, we are given that PR is equal to 3 and QR is equal to 4 or in reverse order that doesn't matter first we will see this so PR is equal to root of distance between them a t square plus a whole square plus 2 a t minus a into t minus 1 by t whole square so if I simplify this, this is a t square plus a whole square. This is a t plus a by t whole square. So if I simplify this a bit more, a t square plus a whole square. This is a t square plus a by t whole square. So I can take a t square plus a out. So a t square plus a. If I take out, what I will be left with is 1 here and here 1 by t square and then qr qr is nothing but again distance right a by t square plus a whole square plus minus 2a by t minus a into t minus 1 by t whole square so this will be if I take calcium here a plus a t square by t square whole square here it will be a t plus 
a by t whole square. So this is a plus a t square into 1 by t power 4 plus 1 by t square. So we, we can take t also out, 1 by t square out. So it will become a plus a t square by t into root of 1 plus 1 by t square. So pr by qr is equal to pr by qr. That is a t square plus a into root of 1 plus 1 by t square by a t square plus a by t into root of 1 plus 1 by t square. So that is t. So this is nothing but 3 by 4 is equal to t. So once I get t, I can find the value of a by substituting any of the two equations. So if I substitute in first equation, 3 is equal to this is 1. So what we mean by 1 is that 2 is this. So 3 is equal to, so a we don't know, t square is 3 by 4 whole square plus a into root of 1 plus 1 by 3 by 4 whole square. So this is a into 3 by 4 whole square plus 1 into root of 1 plus 4 by 3 whole square. So 3 is equal to a into this is 3 square plus 4 square by 4 square into this is 3 root of 3 square plus 4 square by 3 square. So that is nothing but a into 3 square plus 4 square is 5 square by 4 square. This is root of 5 square by 3 square, so 5 by 3. So a is equal to, so 4 square into 3 square by 5 cube. So this is nothing but 16 into 9 by 5 cube is 125. So 16 into 9 is 144 by 125. And length of lattice rectum is 4a. Length of lattice rectum is equal to 4a. So 4 into 144 by 125. So this is 576 by 125 units. So let's say if I consider 4 by 3 as t, then also if you substitute, so even if you substitute in equation 1 or equation 2, we'll get same a. Because 4 is equal to a into 4 by 3 whole square plus a into root of 1 plus 1 by 4 by 3 whole square. So it is a into 4 square 4 by 3 whole square plus 1 into root of 1 plus 3 by 4 whole square. So even then we'll get the same a. So even if we consider pr as 3 and qr as 4 or pr as 4 and qr as 3 will get the same answer. The answer won't differ. So the length of lattice rectum in that case will be 576 by 125 units.